Good evening, guys. Well, I just want to say this is a completely different picture than just a few hours ago. Around 1 to 3 p.m., you could see giant plumes from this fire from town, especially in this area. Now behind me, just kind of a haze of smoke, but we still have fire crews working hard to contain this fire. Now, officials on the fire tell me that it has, like you said, it's reached 1,000 acres, and it was first reported last night, still with 0% containment. Now, thankfully, there are no threats to structures or life around here. But again, like you mentioned, people in the area should be on set status ready to evacuate whenever needed, as well as they said that all the non-essential personnel from Camp Navajo have also been evacuated. And one of the things that has we've been watching this fire grow is that also the number of personnel and crew members on this have grown as well. We've got a lot of crew working on the ground as well as four helicopters working to drop water. And then we've got eight air tankers and other air assets that are working to drop water on this fire, really trying to get that perimeter around it and get the flames down. It has been really hot and dry in the area, so we're seeing that a lot with the fuels. And you can really tell by all these teams how hard they're working. Officials say that their crews really did just jump into action today. So the fire is moving at a moderate rate of intensity through pine litter and ponderosa pine. It's currently moving in a northeast direction. Here in Flagstaff, we are so lucky to have a lot of really fantastic collaborators and agencies that are fully committed to initially attacking all wildfire starts as soon as they possibly can. Now in this area around the fire, it's pretty clear besides the smoke behind me, but that smoke is really settling east of this Belmont area, really into Flagstaff. For so for those who are driving in the area tonight or traveling up this weekend, please keep that in mind when you are on the road. And we'll continue to update you as this fire grows and as containment grows as well. For now, reporting from Belmont, Mason Carroll for Arizona's family.